The Isle of Wight coastal path is a journey along 70 miles of stunning cliffs, golden beaches and peaceful countryside. In this series we'll follow every twist and turn of the island's iconic coastline, exploring its history and hidden gems. Lace up your boots and join us on one of Britain's most captivating coastal walks. The Isle of Wight Coastal Path. This is day one, ride to Benbridge. Here we are on the Isle of Wight, and the first thing we're going to do is go and find something to eat, set us up for the day. Union Street in Ryde, just by the pier, has got loads of restaurants and fast food places. And it's also got this Royal Victoria Arcade, which we're going to have a quick look in. Little unique boutique shops. And it looks like we found our place to eat. AJ's American Diner. So after a good breakfast, we're back down by the ferry terminal. And if you came off the ferry terminal, we've turned left. We're walking the island clockwise. Mm -hmm. And we are off. Yay. Good toilets in the Pavilion Cafe bar. We start off just walking along the road, through Ride, past some amusements. Ride has a nice sandy beach. We're only a couple of minutes into the hike already. You can walk along there as well, but we're staying up the top beach side. That's the Spinnaker Tower over there, Portsmouth, that's where we set off from a couple of hours ago. And we're heading towards Apley Tower. Walking alongside Apley Park and this is Apley Tower. Did you know Lisa, Apley Tower was built in 1875 and used to be the tea room for King George V and Queen oh, Mary. There's a glorious abandoned building left to rack and ruin just by Puck Pool Park and this is the Dell Cafe. A nice beach huts on the other side of the wall but we are walking right on top of the water. There's the Boat House Pub and in another 650 metres we should find Hersey Nature Reserve. which is paradise, OC Nature's Reserve. There's a nesting swan down there. This must be Nettlestone Point and we turn inland here into Sea View. This is the little village of Sea View. 
another great abandoned building. Just a short little detour inland and then we're back down by the sea. At the end of Seagrove Bay, this interesting little walkway, and we go up a flight of steps, apparently, then down to Priory Bay, which is a private beach for the hotel, but we get to walk on it, it's public right of way. It's a bit boggy. We've just clambered through a load of bog to find out but at the bottom of these steps, it's kind of impassable. So we have to turn round. We've taken a wrong turn and we've got to go inland a bit. Day one, we've already gone wrong. <laughs> Can I just say, despite the fact that there's a bag on the sign telling you not to go that way, we still did. <laughs> Yeah, so if they put a bag over the coastal path sign, I guess trust it, it's the wrong way. We're going to follow all trails, which seems to ignore Seagrove Bayway and takes us inland. And you can also follow the signposts and say coastal footpath, St. Helens Duva, which is where we're headed to next. Four and a half miles in, that is Nodes Point Holiday Park. And we walk right on past. Boot cleaning. <laughs> and down across some fields in the direction of the causeway. And St. Helens Duva. Just catch a glimpse of St. Helens Duva through the trees. And we have just crossed some very boggy grassland. This is April and it hasn't stopped raining for weeks. Today though, we've got a glorious day, but who knew the Isle of Wight would be so boggy? St. Helens Duva. This is St. Helens Church. The remains of, built in the 13th century, but bricked up in 1703. After St. Helens Duva, there's a little bit of road walking to do but then cut inland you have to cross these fields and there's this tree with loads of stone decorations and things hanging off it and the way is across these fields this big wall that we're about to cross now is the causeway Doubling back around the marina, there's a bit of a uh, road and pavement walking. Just after the marina, there's a floating cafe and shop. And I'm just heading into Benbridge. Map Girls found a little bench to sit on. Oh, let's see what she can see. Just going past some boathouses, that one's for sale. That's quite posh. And there's a, I hope they, they're not going to be offended. I, I would have said ramshackle, Map Girl says quirky. <laughs> quirky. Yeah. I don't think it's quite finished. That one there though, that is a proper boat. Monument to the Reverend James Nelson Palmer died in 1908 and amongst other things founding member of Benbridge FC <laughs> We've detoured off the path two minutes just to come and have a look at Benbridge Point That there is coastline that we couldn't walk along You have to cut inland And we just pop down to have a quick look Benbridge Point 20 past five we're going to stop at the Pilot Boat Inn for a quick half. This is the Pilot Boat Inn. It's called the White Knuckle Brewery. They brew all their own beers. And what we've got here 
is two halves of faux beer, F-A-U-X. So let's give it a taste and see what we think. Right, cheers. Cheers. I say that's rather nice. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> You're not bothered? Well, I like, it's nice, but I'm not like a drinker, am I? So it's a bit bitter. Is it meant to be bitter? I've decided it's all right, that beer. <laughs> What was the other thing you said? Mm, I shouldn't be so miserable, it's really <laughs> nice. <laughs> Look at the state of them. This is the Isle of Wight coastal path. We've just come across this little uh, nature reserve and it says, Welcome to Pops Wood. Designed and created by Philip T. Saad. A place to sit down. And watch the birds come in. Yeah. I love all the attention to detail and a little place to sit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what else you seen? <laughs> oh, this little caterpillar. Oh, I've been talking like that. <laughs> it's just so cute. All the little bits just tucked away. You have a little um. Treasure hunt with the kids, it's great. Back down to the beach. Where we were at Benbridge Point, um, you can actually walk along the coast to where we are now. As long as the tide's out, um, head towards that pier. I think that's where we're going next, isn't it? There is Benbridge Lifeboat Station. Benbridge Lifeboat Station. There's a RNLI shop. And there's also toilets. We've come across the Crab and Lobster Inn, but no time to stop and have a drink. But it's down to the beach. We're gonna, it's about half past six, so we need to find our pitch for the night. We're going to stick to the all trails route, which leads you along here with the beach just to our left. That's a pain. Just after the crab and lobster, the path is closed. So you can see the monument just up there that we've got to get to. And if you went down here onto the beach thinking that it's a good idea, like you probably there's no way up. So we've got to follow the path round. Okay. The road. Can see Lord Yarmouth Monument up there. I think we're approaching Lord Yarmouth Monument, like 20 paces away. But we still haven't found a place to camp yet. We found a place to pitch. We have pitched a tent. We have indeedy. And we are just getting our stuff ready. <laughs> but it is just, I mean, there's no moon, there's nothing. That's the lights of sand down, but it's impossible to show where we are till the morning. I love dehydrated food. <laughs> Do you like dehydrated food, map girl? I love dehydrated food. Especially that one, spaghetti carbonara. Tonight we are feasting on Huel. Mm -hmm. Map Girl has spaghetti carbonara, while I have Cajun pasta. There we go, give them a stir, two minutes, gorgeous. Nine o'clock at night, comfy cosy. Mm -hmm. Very comfy cosy. Nip of brandy. Yeah. And night time. <laughs> All right, cool beans. Night night mm -hmm. road. Uh, see where we are in the morning. Night night. Not quite sure where we are, are we? In a car park. <laughs> <laughs> we appear to be in a car park. We'll see where we are in the morning, but not quite. No Benbridge, um, Benbridge Fort. And near Lord Yarmouth Monument. Monument. Yeah. That's it, right? A couple of swigs of brandy and yep. sweet dreams. Night night.
Day one of the Isle of Wight coastal path. Starting here at Ride, you pick up the path that takes you along the coast, past Apley Tower, which is a really good path all the way along the coast till you get um, just beyond Allen Hersey Nature Reserve. There's a slight detour into Sea View and then back onto the coastal path. And then here there's another detour at Seagrove Bay. You can no longer go along the coast. Um, it now takes you around through a boggy field and a holiday centre to St Helen's Church. Um, then you come around the Duva, which is really nice, and coming along the causeway. It's a beautiful little walk here before picking up the road. Quite a long uh, road walk around Pembridge Harbour. So you get to the Pilot Pub. Um, then a little climb up. And here there's a, a wood, Pops Wood, which is worth a visit. And then you've, still, you've got a nice path along the Esplanade. Past some toilets. Uh, before coming inland to the Crab and Lobster Pub. And then you're walking on the cliff top. Uh, where there is another detour so you have to take go up along the road and then find the caravan park and come back down through the caravan park to get back onto the coastal path um, and then it's a single track path coming around here um, up culver down and up to um, the monument and the culver haven pub there was nowhere to camp there, uh, so the lady in the pub told us to just carry on down the road a little bit and find a car park where there's a big grassed area um, to camp. So that's where we are now, looking out over to the sea.